All right, let's get up here. So, <clears throat> there's the video for the bug report on the Aegis Reclaimer. So, uh, well, actually, there's uh, quite, quite a few problems, but uh, I'm just gonna go the major one that is currently blocking from using it, pretty much. So, let's get over to the hangar. So let's go catch the train. Excuse me. Uh, this way, I think. Which way? Damn it. Well, let's wait for the next one. Trespassing or attempting to trespass on train tracks is a serious and dangerous offense. Right. Our empire is at war. Our values are being tested. The stakes are higher. The threats more serious. There's only one candidate who has the experience, the go. strength, and the vision to help the empire thrive. And let's see, Central Commerce Line. Trespassing or attempting to trespass on train tracks is a serious enemy. Spaceport Line. To Metro Sensor. Am I lost? This is a of land, right? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Okay, so... Uh, so I just got to the spaceport on Bowie. So I'm gonna... Gonna just... Uh, Retrieve my reclaimer. It should end up in hangar one, I think. Yep. Right on cue. So let's get to hangar one. Of 
call up the first elevator here. And hangar one we go. Aegis Reclaimer. Okay. The first time I tried getting it, it was the other way around. I huh. guess that's random. Okay, so... Uh, Jesus, my frame rate is tanking. Well... I am going to show you a few things here. So... As now that I have the actual ship here. So the reclaimer has two two ways to get in. And this one I cannot activate no matter what the angle. So that's kinda weird. Well, no matter. Uh, it's a kind of a shame sh since that's uh, quite a bit faster way to the cockpit than using the elevator, but yeah, this is the one that this one has also its own problems. Okay, this time the ah nope nope stop moving. So if everything goes just like last time, the elevator should pop up here instantly. Yeah, there we go. And there's some texture problems. Nothing. Major there, but I can actually walk through this, so I cannot actually use this. So I'm gonna just put it, let it go to cargo hold, and it will just lift through me. Like so. Okay. But yeah, that's not the actual issue here. And now we're gonna order it again, and this time it should lower itself quite nicely. The actual game is running quite smoothly, like, uh, I'd say like 40 FPS at the moment. It's just uh, obvious, it's a bit struggling there. So yeah, second time's the charm. The elevator appears to be working correctly. So let's go to habitation. I hope I click that. And we'll go. Go up. So once I get inside, I don't think there's anything, any issues here. Everything seems to be working as intended. But the actual problem uh, arises when we get to the actual cockpit and start to move this big old thing. Let's take the lift down. Working nicely. I'm gonna actually check the side lift from this side. Can't seem to. No, oh, cool. It's a bit hard to activate. It seems doesn't seem to be working that reliably. But yeah, I'm not gonna. This was just some one side issue. So let's get to the actual cockpit and jump right in. Okay. Yeah, OBS is reading like 50 to 30 FPS, but the game itself is running quite nicely, like 40, 30 to 40, I'd say. Let's start up and switch to comms, which is weird. Why isn't it a default? And we have our launch permit. I'll just oh some rendering bugs with the 
actual thrust test. Didn't see that one last time. But that should not be much of an issue. If we can actually get this thing up in the air. Come on. So yeah, let's try to target that hologram in the air. And turn off the chat. Nothing valuable there. Okay. So as the as the ship lifts, it's uh, struggling just a bit. Nothing major. But here's the problem. So now I'm up in the air and we'll see if our coupled mode keeps us in the air. We are. Now, let's engage the thrusters. Nothing. So I'm pressing W and A, trying to go forward and a bit to the left. And as you can see from the actual HUD, the thrust is as high as it will go. And we start dropping, so I'm gonna put a bit more lift thrusters there. Okay, so this is not clearly moving us anywhere. So let's lift up the landing gear. And yeah, there's the one other problem. Those thrusters should turn, but they don't. They stay like that. And as you can see, we are still not moving anywhere. And... Yeah. The afterburner, like, barely makes us move. But the actual thrusters is... Is a bit sad, really. <laughs> I mean... I Now I'm pressing W in space. I've been pressing W this whole time, and this thing is not moving. With the afterburner, I can kind of make it move. But this thing is gonna explode when I before I get to space. So, yeah, yeah, this is a bit of a struggle. Yeah, constantly pressing W. You can see the thrust is up there. And we are, we are definitely not moving. So, if I let go of everything, let's see if we'll stay in the air. No, we start drifting for some reason. Like. This ship should not be moving. And we're constantly being dragged down. We're losing altitude. If I don't press anything. And we indeed are in coupled mode. So, if I engage the lift thrusters. Nothing really happens. <laughs> Collision alert. Yeah. I'm pressing space this whole time. And we hit the ground. And we're probably gonna explode. So yeah. Uh, I think that should cover it pretty much. So, I think I'll just leave it there. There we go.